My son, Jason Bott, is one of the researchers on the expedition. It can't be that hard to find. Hi everyone, it's Ray. Chang and I have been at sea for a few days on our way to Antarctica. We asked you all to send in questions and what did you deliver? Our first question is from Wyatt, age seven. How can this data tell you how much time is left on the glaciers? It's a super question, Wyatt. It's sort of the most important question. Why are we here? What are these scientists doing? Basically, you got a piece of ice, it's sticking out onto the ocean. So there's water underneath it that's causing it to melt. But the scientists need to be there to know how much water is going by, how warm that water is, and how the ice is responding. If they have information about each piece of this puzzle, then they can sort of try to use math and figure out, okay, how much longer is the glacier gonna be there? How much longer is its position gonna be stable? I hope that helps, Wyatt. Thanks for the question. Our next question is from Donald Wolichow. I'm 93 years old. How old is the eldest in the expedition group? Another question relatedly, what's the approximate gender ratio? The oldest of the scientists is 63. Out of 39 total scientists, 15 are women, 24 are men. Julie Slayback from Colorado asks, I noticed you left from Christchurch to get to the Thwaites Glacier. Why not leave from Ushuaia, Argentina? The Korean Polar Research Institute uses Christchurch as its typical gateway to the Antarctic because it's closer to one of its bases. Jangbogo Station is a research station owned by Korea. Mary Mervin asks, is seasickness an issue on this trip? If so, how do folks manage it? I have a patch here that I've been wearing since I've been on the ship. I've used it before at sea and it does pretty well for me. Another reader asks, I'm wondering if you'll take notes in real time with those giant gloves on. While we're on the ice, if it's that cold that I need those big gloves on, I'll probably just have to rely on my phone to take videos of what's going on. Finally, Leslie Lopez says, my son Jason Bott is one of the researchers on the expedition. I think what we might actually try to do is find your son. I've got a surprise for you. Your mother wants you to know. I've subscribed and will be eagerly reading each new installment as the expedition continues. Thank you again for giving me a window into their world and their research. Nice. Hey mom, uh, love you. Hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon.